Frank Phillips here again. Hi, YouTube. Um, this is the free tracks on the Delta Ray. Um, update. Not done yet. As you can see, I got some holes cut and everything now, but I was going to fill this up with foam and allow that to act as a pressure because this is structural and then there's structural back here and it's just really hard to reach this is just an empty cavity um but my expanding foam didn't work so real fantastic anyway um got the x8 over here right if you haven't seen it yet this is all built in permanent now well semi-permanent at this point you can see i've done a bunch of reinforcement got that so you can unscrew it if I have a failure and uh, built this one single plate um, fairly thick quarter inch thick I think and soaked it with um, CA before I epoxied it in there just to kind of help it build up a little stronger and as you can see gear goes down and then that thing just slides along there works really nice of course, this isn't all cured or anything, so I can't really test fly it or anything yet. You can see it doesn't have any impact on that. And then, of course, the rudder is allowed to be uh, freely moving. And uh, we'll go ahead and open that back up. You kind of see how that works. So suppose I'm moving it and I close the gear. That would be the only time I think I'd have a problem is because it allows it to kind of walk a little bit. But... I guess basically, if I'm not doing stupid stuff, it should keep it. You can see it's fairly well centered there. So the neutral or home position that it comes out to, um, regardless of how it's collapsed, will always be center. And uh, like I said, I'll probably go ahead and do a some sort of a cover that attaches here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Maybe just a string uh, that gets caught and then pulls the clamshell shut. Um, oh, and then 